Okay, so now let's add a little bit of another element to this squat. Basically taking a bar, something with weight, even if it's weightless, such as this PVC pipe, and put this up around our chest, what I like to call a front-loaded squat. Instead of putting it on your back, which is kind of the lazy way to do it, and sometimes gets you to use improper form by bending your back in the, in the way that could possibly hurt yourself, put the bar in front, you're going to start engaging more of your core, especially your abdomen and your obliques and your lower back, this way to stabilize that weight that's in an awkward position as you squat down and thrust up. It's going to be a little bit more difficult for some of you, and it's definitely going to be a little bit more challenging, but it's going to give you some better results. So we're going to do the same thing we did with the squat, but we're going to take our bar that we have, whether it's with weight or not, we're going to have our thumbs just outside of our hips, and we're going to lift it up and let the bar rest in our fingertips. Our elbows are going to be up, up tall, pointing towards the sky as high as we can. Obviously, the more weight we have, if we have a bar in the gym, the weight's going to fall in our fingertips very nicely, and you want to let that rest right on top of your chest. So we do the same thing we would in a normal squat. We have this bar above our chest, under our chin, proud chest, bend at the hips, down at the hamstrings, and up off those heels, okay? Once again, looks something like this.